What's good, Storm fans? Brian Cook here, and today we are playing a donation deck from Sean Dagnan, who is cashing in part of their membership tier rewards, whatever words, things, you know what I mean. So Sean has already submitted the Thassa's Oracle combo deck video that blew up uh, a couple weeks ago. You can find that video in the card above. And now Sean is submitting this sweet brew. It's Land Nas. This is, was actually a modern deck a handful of years ago. The idea is that you use Ad Nauseam to draw most of the lands in your deck, and then you Lightning Storm your opponent. Well, Legacy has a pretty sweet card in Cunning Wish that not only gets you your sideboard copy of Ad Nauseam, but your Wing Condition and Lightning Storm as well. And the original deck ran Simeon Spirit Guide to create red mana. In Legacy, we are fortunate enough to have access to things like Lotus Petal, Mox Diamond, Mox Opal, etc. This deck's converted mana cost is incredibly low, so it's pretty rare that Ad Nauseam will kill you. It's certainly possible. But when you look at the overall converted mana cost of the deck, outside of the Ad Nauseam, we have 9 plus 8, so 17, 19 total. So as long as you haven't been dealt damage, it's literally impossible to die off your own Ad Nauseam. If you've been dealt damage, you know, things can get a little bit more dicey. But that's the core of the deck, except there's a twist. So yes, you can add Nauseam into Lightning Storm, and how sweet is that, right? Like Lightning Storm is a pretty sweet one, healing your opponent a bunch of damage using lands. But we also have some land combos in our deck. Obviously, we have Dark Depths plus Thespian Stage, you know, make that 2020 Merit Lodge. But we also have things like Atawara that can answer things like Thalia, Deafening Silence, whatever it may be, or even Teleria West to help find the Dark Depths or Thespian Stage. We also have another backup. We have Thespian Stage copying Urza Saga or Urza Saga on its own to make construct tokens with all of these artifacts we have. So this deck has a ton of synergy. That said, Sean loves making me play cards that I hate. So unfortunately, there are four copies of Chalice of the Void here. Cyborg Mindbreak Trap. Sean is just trying to make me cry on camera, I think, at this point. And... Honestly, Sean's getting pretty close, so we'll see how much it hurts my feeling playing these cards today. Notice how I said feeling. I don't have multiple. And I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. It's the first round and we're on the play with Land Nas. Okay, so we have turn 1 Profane Tutor to find Ad Nauseam. We could also just go get the other half of the Dark Depths combo. Uh, but I don't know if we even need that because we have Stage Saga. Uh, I guess we'll keep. I don't really know what our opponent's playing. 
Okay, they kept five. Let's start off on Mox Diamond. Discard the Urborg. So if I play Saga now, next turn I can copy. So I think it's worth playing this. Play the pedal. Tap for a black and let's suspend this profane tutor. Pass the turn. Misty Rainforest and pass. Okay, so we'll auto yield to this ability. Draw another stage. Okay. We'll pass the turn. I wonder if I'm supposed to copy with stage or make a construct here. I think it's make a construct and then before it would die, I copy it. What are you playing? This is, is this the uh, Anurag Das High Tide Cat deck? It might be. Okay, so Profane. Let's cast the Profane Tutor. I could just grab Chalice and bank on the artifacts winning. All right, I think I like the idea of grabbing Chalice here. So let's draw and then the Saga will trigger. We will copy yours as Saga. They're activating Flooded Strand for a basic island. Volcanic Island. Um, I think I grab Opal here. Play a stage. And cast Chalice of the Void for one. This feels disgusting. Thanks, I hate it. And Chalice Resolve, so we'll attack for five. This could just be Sneak and Show as well. I mean, you're supposed to uh, play to what the odds say, and the odds say that it's Sneak and Show. But uh, people like to play what streamers play, so you never truly know. Intuition. You can have a show and tell, my dad. For what it's worth, even if I got the Dark Depths there, I don't know if my hand would have raised. So they have show and tell with two cards in hand. If it's just a creature, I have the Atawara. Okay, so now they're at six. One more artifact would be lethal. Land. Okay, draw. Profane Tutor, not it. Um, so I can make a construct and then have three available mana, which is not enough. So... Oops, cancel. Um, I can't make a construct. This is on one counter. My bad. Let's use the Ottawara to bounce the Gristle brand and put them to one. Just like we drew it up. Boom! Look at that. Me playing fair magic. Okay, so we're facing Sneak and Show. Is there anything I want out of the sideboard here? Maybe the Fluster, but I don't even know if that's true. I do think the Shadow Spear is a little bit stinky here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take out the Shadow Spear and just board in the Fluster. I think that's all I need to do. Okay, so let's try to get a post-board game. This seems strong. We're a black source away from a turn two vampire hex mage. Keep. Where's my herb war at? Turn one ancient tomb. Um, I'm going to play the depths because if they have a turn two show and tell, I can just put the hex mage into play. 
Do I want to challenge zero? I think the answer might be yes. Pass the turn. Because it shuts off Lotus Petal from it being a live card for them. So I just want them to be able to show and tell in a large creature so I can mirror Lodge. Okay, so they're on all colorless mana, apparently. Draw. This technically does it, assuming that the... Oh, my own chalice! Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. Chalice people problems. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's too funny. Yep. Save me for myself there. Let's play the needle. Crystal brand. I could name like Scalding Tarn here, but I think I actually want them to cast Show and Tell. I could also name Sneak Attack. Draw. Saga goes up to two. Um, I think I'm just going to pass. Caster two colorless. There's their blue source. Is this a show and tell? Bouncing the chalice on zero. Okay. Lotus petals. So that's for red mana, I think. So they're trying to play a sneak attack. Yeah, Magus. Um. Yeah. So that's going to kill my saga. A little bit of a bummer there. They have four cards. These lands are legendary. So I actually want the one in play that isn't legendary because if the Magus dies then it this becomes a merit lodge okay we'll take two down to 18 draw another mountain so i could suspend the profane tutor trying to find um the atawara which would be really good, but I'd have to draw into another zero mana artifact. It's probably worth doing. Let's uh, let's suspend the profane. Okay, they had no effects. Ouch. 16. Tutor goes to one counter draw. This would just die. There's no point in me playing that. They now have four land, so if they have sneak attack in hand, they can play it. I'm at 14. No sneak attack. Profane Tutor. Let's cast it. It resolved. All right, so I want to get Atawara, and then we just have to draw Opal or Diamond or Petal. I guess I would still need a fourth mana source, but this is probably my best chance. Draw. Killing me, Smalls. Pass the turn. As I mentioned previously, if I play Urza Saga with the Magus out, it just dies, so there's not really a, a big point to doing that. They chose not to attack with the Borrower. Here's the sneak attack, and I'm probably dead next turn. Hmm. Alright, next game. It actually ended up mattering that I threw away the Mox Diamond, unfortunately. Submit. On the play. This seems solid. Keep. Point it with a mulligan. Okay, Urborg, Lotus Petal, Chalice of the Void on one. Pass. Basic Island, Lotus Petal, draw. Let's suspend this Profane Tutor. Pass the turn. 
Looks like they have show and tell or Magus. I can't do a whole lot about this, so I guess I put the blue source into play. They might have me here. Uh, Otto War is my out. I don't think I have an out via Cunning Wish. I can't Slaughter Pact it. Can't Chain of Vapor it, so yeah. Draw. Sog is not going to get the job done here. Turn two, show and tell. Brutal. No cantrip required. Yeah, no outs here. Cannot cunning wish for this half of the sideboard. Yeah, they got me. All right, zero and one. Womp womp. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Let's try that again. We are on the play for match number two. Okay. Um, this seems fine enough. We'll keep. Okay. Turn one diamond. Discard the bog. There's a saga. And shadow spear. Pass the turn. Eight cast. That's a bummer. Max Opal. Chalice on one. They did it so that I didn't have to. It's very kind of them. And now they have another Mox Opal with two cards in hand. Emery. Okay, now they're going to cash in a bobble. It's interesting considering they have Thought Monitor in the graveyard, but maybe they just have... I don't know. Alright, they'll get to draw two. Draw. Saga's on two counters. Herborg and pass. Full Lotus Petal. They're bringing back a bobble. Okay. Three cards still in hand. It looks like they might be passing that, or they're just trying to do the see if you're F6 switch phases thing. Okay, so let's make a construct. Good deal. Draw. Another Urza Saga. How lovely. Okay, let's make another construct. Let's grab a Mox Opal here. I'm grabbing Opal because I want to be able to equip the Shadow Spear. Equip. I am the beatdown deck. Hiya. That's what I'm known for. Bryant Cook, aggro player. Alright, this looks like a Kappa Cannoneer coming down. What are you doing? Alright, apparently they wanted another Mox Opal. They might have needed it for the cost. And there's the Cannoneer. It sees itself enter and adds a plus one plus one counter. And now our opponent can use Emery to return a bobble, and that Kappa Cannoneer will become a 6-6. Six, six. They do return a bobble. And they use the bobble. Okay, so right now on our turn, I can make another construct and turn this one into a 6-6. Six, six. So we can at least trade with this one. Uh, I guess I should have thought through my play a little bit more because I could have played a Vampire Hex Mage. Oh, I still can. There's an Urborg. Okay. 
black, black, X mage. So we can get a little cheeky here too, because I can actually remove the plus counters from the Kappa cannon here to make sure that my construct lives. Get in there. Oh no, uh, this has ward. Um, it doesn't give me the reminder text on ward either. So I guess I would have settled for a trade. I believe ward says spell or ability, not just spell. Pass the turn. The old 33 to 1. I'd love to cast an ad nauseum from 33. Let's go. My record with ad nauseum is drawing, th it's either 38 or 39 cards. This deck could easily break that. Psy Master Thopterist, okay. Uh, should I? I could. Turn the chalice into a chalice on zero here. All right, I think that's the play. So this way, if they try to play zeros, they'll be countered. All right, so they get a token for casting the Psy, which will trigger the Kappa Cannoneer. That said, the Kappa Cannoneer uh, it sees artifacts enter the battlefield, so they don't get a counter for the ones cast. They only get counters for the Thopters that are generated off Psy. And they recast the Chalice. Okay. Draw. Alright, let's use the Saga that is going away. I am the Beatdown. Grab a Mox Diamond. Discard Underground C, that's fine. And our opponent has conceded the game. How about that? Love to see it. I think that we board out our own copies of Chalice. And then we want to bring in Hercules Recall. Probably these explosives. Let's try this out. Okay, game two on the draw. We will keep this. Opponent with a mulligan to six. Seat. Mox Opal. Emery. You got it. Draw. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, play the depths. One has three cards in hand. Ancient Tomb, three mana for a Psy. So that's a little disappointing because it means that they can block my Dark Depths all day. Unless I find one of those uh, EE for zeros. Okay, they have two cards. Bobble Triggers, draw. Hmm. Let's play the vampire. Lotus battle. Pass the turn. All right, so they can play Bobble, generate another token. You got it. So we showed them Pact and Negation as our top card. It's an odd one, because I, I think it signals that we might not be on the most fair deck, but who knows. Okay. So we have successfully created a Marilage. They draw a Bobble. Another Profane Tutor. Alright, so let's suspend the Profane. I don't know, abyss them? Oh no, we showed them that we had a pro, uh, pact in hand. For some reason when they bobbled me, in my head it was a Mishra's. So I thought we were drawing a second pact of negation. And it just dawned on me that we showed them the one in our hand. Okay. All the blockers. 
We have five cards. We showed them Pact and Negation again. Okay. Peter goes down to one. Draw. Hilario West. Let's suspend again, because that means that we can do the Engineer play two turns in a row if need be. All right, so they block. They're paying costs. So I think they're going to draw a card here by sacrificing two artifacts. And they do. Sweet. All right, so they're up to eight cards. They can replay Bobble again. A lot of mana here. Is this a Kappa? It is a Kappa. Okay. They have six cards. I think my best draw is another copy of Pact Negation. Are you now going to attack me with the side? They could have been doing this all game and chose not to. Okay. So they'll draw a card off Bobble. They're at seven. We're going to attempt to search up an engineered explosives here to win the game. Okay, so we can cast it from exile. They know that we have a pact negation. They cast Force Pitching Emery. So if I packed here and then they counter the Profane Tutor again, I have to pay the upkeep on Pact and Negation. Um, or I could wait a turn. Oh, um, I just win with the... Uh, why did I not see this? Yeah, we're going to let that go. So I'm going to get the equipment and make my Merit Lodge Lifeling Trample. So obvious. I don't know why I just saw this line. Uh, Shadow Spear. Okay. Ding dong. And that's a concession. We got it. Look at me doing the combat math thing. Can you believe it? Me attacking with creatures? This doesn't even look like a combo deck. I'm just playing fair, honest, you know, beautiful magic. No ad nauseum cast yet, but maybe in the next round. Stick around and see if it happens. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live. Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the Power Toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. All right, match three, we're on the play. I mean, we just have to hope to draw a piece of acceleration. I think we keep this. So far, my experience with this deck is that it has a really tough time getting above, like, three or four mana. But, like, I've never felt like I was in a position to actually cast Ad Nauseam. I guess that's sort of my point. It feels like man is definitely a bottleneck, despite this being like a lands-based strategy. Okay, so we'll play stage Lotus Petal. And Shadow Spear. Pass the turn. 
Really want like Mox Opal as my draw step. This again? Come on. E cast is so lame. Chalice on zero. Okay. So we're looking for a land. Still looking for a land. Uh, pass. Saga's on two. Ancient Tomb. All right, Doc, please give me a land. Draw. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, we have to pass here. Yep, have to pass. So now they can make a construct, and then they can name Thespian Stage. So that way I can't needle to copy the depths. Yeah, we're not looking great here. I guess my best draw just became Urborg. Ooh, Nile Spellbomb. I'm sorry, Aether Spellbomb. That's really tough for me to beat. So I guess we're on the Ad Nauz plan, but I don't have any mana, and there's a Chalice in play. So, uh, Sean, you wanted to know how often this was worse than um, Underground Sea. Here, it's interesting because I can't use it off these but i could use it off the pedal then i have to sacrifice a resource the spell bomb here is uh kind of annoying because at least if this was a needle i could vampire hex mage i think we're just dead um i do have cunning wish for hercules as an out um yeah i have to pass here emery you got it thought monitor i don't i think i have to draw like a exactly a land on my turn to even stand a chance i also need them to not have uh pretty much anything oh I, th that's my own fault. I accidentally clicked through. I was supposed to cast Cunning Wish for the Hercules there. And I drew the land. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. So I can still... Hercules them. But they can just replay everything. Yeah, I feel like I threw this one. That's a bummer. Oh, too busy narrating my play and I click through the end step. Okay. Let's get these chalices out of here. Bring in the explosives. And do I want to leave the Hercules this time? I'm just going to board it. Let's go. Okay, game two, we're on the play. Sure, this seems fine. Keep. Okay. I think I actually want to lead on Peat Bog here. Because if you lead on Peat Bog, they don't see the Dark Depths coming in turn two. So you just go turn one Bog, Hex Mage, Depths. Or if you lead on Depths into the Urborg, they get to see the play coming. Okay, so they passed. Bobble. Petal. Seat into Emery. Forsy Emery Ancient Tomb, so not that good. We showed them Hex Mage. Okay, I'm fine with showing them the Hex Mage. Another Pact. Let's play it. They're going to force the Hex Mage. Okay. Um, I don't want to show them the Depths. Hmm. So I can't transmute the Ottawara, or the uh, Teleri West weird spot 
All right, I'm just going to play the Herb Orc. Pass the turn. So they have a Bobble in the graveyard that they can bring back. Two cards in hand. Thought cast. Yep. Shadow Spear and they're passing. And they're back up to four cards. Draw. My own Shadow Spear. Beautiful. Um, I guess we play the Ottawara? I don't know. Like, I have to find another blue source for this Teleria West. Feeling kind of behind now about after that uh, Force Will on the Hex Mage. Sigh. Okay, well, we have the Shadow Spear. Which can get us over the Thopter tokens. Still not feeling too confident right now. Draw. Oh no. I would need to draw another land. That's a bummer. Pass the turn. I don't know if I'm going to get this. I feel pretty far behind. Okay. Ouch. I take three. Draw. You're killing me. Come on. Play Needle. Yeah, this game's not going well. We lost this game on turn two. This deck's just so mana hungry all the time. Bobble triggers. If you didn't notice, I named her as a saga with the needle. They get their own needle. Vampire hex mage. They suit up their 11 and 11. Even if I make a Mirror Lodge at this point, it's not going to be large enough to race this gigantic construct. I guess I did side in triple explosives, so maybe I could draw one of those to get back in this game. Or is that just lethal? That's just lethal. I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, that was fun. Super enjoyable. Loved it. Ugh. Ugh. Fairy magic's disgusting. Can I cast an ad nauseum already? Hopefully we can in match number four. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, round four. So, Sean, I do have a little bit of feedback already. This land sucks. I'm sorry, I do not like it. Double blue is impossible. Uh, I do not like Chilaria West at all. I would immediately cut this from the deck. Um, I think we have to mulligan this. So this is a turn one. Yep. Keep and bottom Ottawara. There's a saga. Okay. And we got the shadow spear. Okay. Opal. Petal. Tap for black, tap for black, X mage. Is this eight cast for the third match in a row? Oh my, gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, wow, this deck's everywhere. So lame. <sighs> Pass the turn. Eight cast is probably, it's up there with my most heated decks in Legacy. I think the deck is super lame. Not a fan. Come on, Thespian Stage. 
I guess we can actually transmute this card for once. Um, and then it's going to shut off my Mox Opal. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so we can transmute it, go get the stage, and then play Shadow Spear off the stage. So that should re enable Metalcraft. Oh no, but then this is going to get Needle. I'm just going to lose lose here. Maybe I was supposed to get Stage. Uh, spell Bomb. It's interesting. I don't know if I like Spell Bomb because it forces them to leave a blue, but I don't know. Come on, Needle off the top rope. Draw. Chalice. Chalice on zero. You have three cards in hand. Okay, pass. So now they have to leave up the blue for Spellbomb for the rest of the game. Ouch. Come on, Saga. Not really incentive. I guess I could start slow thawing the depths. Maybe I should do that. I'm re getting in. Okay, let's slow thaw. Doing this the hard way. Draw. Not going to cast this this time. I've learned my lesson. Also, Sean, I was told that this is a combo deck. Unless the combos that's being staged dark depths. I don't know what you're talking about. Is there even ad nauseum in this deck? I feel like I've been fooled. I've been fooled into playing lands with main deck Chalice of the Void. Okay. Slow thaw. Draw. They did not attack that time. Pass the turn. Will they attack? They're attacking this time crazy. I don't know. I'm just going to be lazy and do this now. If they play a Saga second main phase, you got me. Okay, draw. Pass the turn. No attacks this time. Then... Urborg would be a nuts draw because I could start double thinning on the uh, the depths. And now they have to discard to hand size. Peat Bog. Ancient Tomb. For a Needle. Let's attempt to pack this. Oh, my, my own Chalice. I, I literally said that I wasn't going to do it with the diamond, and then I my own pact. Jeez. Um, I think we let it go. They name stage. Okay. Thin. Ouch, I'm at 16. Draw. Another bog. Okay, tap. I'm just going to remove some counters here. Doing it the hard way. This is not what I had in mind when I signed up for Land Nauseum. Now they have a Shadow Spear of their own. And here comes the Kappa Cannoneer to make a fast clock, especially when they have a spell bomb. I really wish I could have drawn into a saga at a reasonable speed, because then I could have gotten my own needle that was uncounterable to stop the spell bomb. Way too late. Way too late. Um, and I'm a mana short of turning on this. Uh, Steps this turn. 
I think I'm just gonna be dead to the Cannoneer plus Shadow Spear. Yep. So we'll take seven down to eight. Not looking good for the home team. I can't race this. Yeah, I think I'm I'm done so. Pass the turn. And that's the ball game. It's disappointing. Sure. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. It stinks. So we are now one in... Oh, no, we apparently got game number one. Or was that game number one? I don't even know. All of these matches are blurring together in my head. Okay, so I guess that was game one. Let's board out the chalices. Uh, board in the Hercules. So I do have some thoughts on how to improve this deck, uh, but I'll save those for the end. All right. On the play. Um, sure. Okay, throwing bog. Pass. Saga. Opal. Bobble. Lotus Petal. Emery. Cannoneer, Seat, Lotus Petal, Thought Cast. Draw. Let's attempt a Vampire Hex Mage. Okay. Um, yeah, pass. Saga goes up to two. Lotus Petal, okay. So they could have Ottawara, but they're tapping off it at the moment. Sure. I have this Explosives for zero. And this gives them Ottawara mana again. All right, so they don't have it. I'm just going to make a Dark Depths. Or a Mirage, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You have some tokens. So they're drawing two, and they need to be Force Blue card here to stop me, or Ottawara. Play Explosives for zero. Theoretically, I have Pack to stop Force Blue card. So it really would just have to be the Ottawara. Get in there. Okay, let's try to steal another game. Should we have Tabernacle in the deck? Zoran Orb sucks, so I don't hate just boarding in the tab. Maybe I should have done that the previous two matches. Who knows? Some of you are probably screaming at your computer that I haven't been. And to you, I would say, eh, I guess. So this is a hand that tries to Nas win. We haven't done that yet, so we could try for it. Seat into Bobble. Lotus Petal, Emery. Opal, Opal Seat, Thought Monitor. I guess my problem with this hand is this hand's really slow. Like this is a turn four or five maybe i was supposed to mulligan this i don't even know i also could have left let on peat bog into turn two out of war for ad nauseum but then on my turn four i only have four mana unless i draw like a lotus petal but i guess in theory it gives me more draws to being quick draw Hmm. I think I'm supposed to play the bog. All right. Psy Master Thopterist. Sure thing. Okay. 
Draw Shadow Spear. Pass. They have four cards. Okay, so the Adnaz plan is looking better and better from here. I guess my issue is that they have four cards in hand and they, they could have up to two bobble triggers and a thought monitor. Interesting, they're picking up an opal. Okay. And then the th a thought monitor from hand. So now they're at five cards, four. Okay. 18. Looking at our top card with the bobble. Let's cunning wish. See if this resolves. Woot woot. So let's grab the ad nauseum. And we can cast this ad nauseum with our bobble trigger on the stack. Okay. 50 cards in our deck currently. They have Force Pitching Emery. We will Pact of Negation. They just had it all. Oh, geez. They got me. We are one and three. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Cobalt and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. Okay, not the best record so far. Let's see if we can just get this last match, get 50 of our play points back. We've opened on the Ad Nauseum. That's pretty good, but we're lacking mana. I am going to keep this. So I think we pitched Hilaria West. We played Turn 1 Profane Tutor to go get more mana. So we need to draw some lands off the top. Mox Diamond. Discard this. Play the Borg. Suspend. Pass the turn. Planes. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. Draw. Pass the turn. Do I try to pivot? If they're just going to be like a blue control deck? I don't know. Alright. Profane goes to one. Or is this, this is the second one? Okay. Cast Profane Tutor. Do I just get Saga? Sure, let's grab Saga. Draw. Okay, immediately punished. Um, pass the turn. I can end step Cunning Wish. They're using the Scalding Tarn. Ponder. Okay, they did not shuffle. And they kept. Let's play the Cunning Wish to see if it resolves. It does. Let's grab Fluster. Okay, now Saga goes up to two. Play the Petal. So they play a land this turn. They could have played it last turn and they didn't. That's interesting. Should probably keep the blue open. Make a construct. Draw. And I'm going to copy the stage or the saga here. Okay. Not really a value card to get in the deck. Maybe you just grab like opal. Hiya. They'll take three. And we can just pass the turn. I could play the Hex Mage here. I don't want to. This seems like a Miracle style deck. Let me play a Dress Down. Sure. You cleaned up my Saga token. 
And that shuts down the fluster. Not loving this. Okay. Draw. Okay. Definitely in a tough spot now. They're plussing the Teferi. If I can draw another artifact mana, like another Lotus Petal, I could actually add Nauseam with double backup. Narset. Sure. They pick up a Ponder. Draw. Cunning Wish number three. Yep. Uh, we'll attack to Fury. They probably have a Swords. Surprise, surprise. So we're dead if they have a, what is it called? A Days Undoing. But I don't think I can realistically beat this to Fairy anyway. Now, now at least I can fight the Days Undoing on the stack. Okay, pass. Ponder. You got it. And they use Narset again. Swords to Plowshares. I was thinking about casting a Cunning Wish, but there's not actually a card I want here, so I'd rather just sit on it. All right, Shadow Spear. So now at least the Opal's active. I suppose I should probably copy like their Tundra or something with this stage. I probably should have done that last turn. Typhoon. Four mana for a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay. Looking at my top card. That says that they're pretty confident with their hand. They did not use Jace's ability, didn't bother to attack. All right, I think I'm actually going to go get Mindbreak Trap here. Or at least attempt to go get Mindbreak Trap. So that way I can potentially protect this Ad Nauseam. Draw. Uh, I wanted, I was really hoping that was a land. Um, play the needle, I guess. Jeez, the Mind Sculptor. Pass the turn. Sure. Okay. The needle's gone, and now they have a Jace again. All right. This is the last Cunning Wish, so if I use this, it has to be for the win condition. Otherwise, I have to win via, like, Merit Lodge or whatever, which is really hard to do with Ad Nauseam. So I can't burn this Cunning Wish, even though I really want to cast it for Surgical here. Let's just copy the Tundra, I guess. And what stinks about this is that the Fluster Storm is essentially dead now. Draw. Okay. Pass the turn. I don't know how I'm supposed to possibly win this game. Draw. Lotus Petal. Tap for double black. Black. Let's close the sideboard and put Ad Nauseam on the stack. They know that I have Fluster Mind Break. We know that they have one Swords in their hand out of their six cards. All right, so they have Cast Force and Negation. We will attempt to Pact. Pact is still on the stack. All right, Ad Nauseam. They have a main deck fluster? Come on! 
Okay, so Fluster versus Fluster. All right, so let's see how this uh, pans out. Now I can pay for these. Yes. And yes. We still know that they have a Swords in hand, so if they have Force here. All right, my record is 38. Let's see how far we can go. All the Cunning Wishes are gone, so I should be able to just draw my deck. All right, it looks like I am going to break my record here. Okay, so I have 43 cards in hand, and this was my hand before I started, so I drew 40 cards. A new personal record. Play the Zurin Orb. Mox. Mox. Let's just tap this for mana now. Lotus Petal. Play a land. All right, more Moxin. Discard. Discard another. Lotus Petal. Okay, I can't believe we're actually winning this one. Uh, let's tap. Cast this Cunning Wish. Leave some red mana floating, yes. We'll grab Lightning Strike. I hope I do this right. I've never cast this card online. So we're going to target them. What? They had a force this whole time and they didn't cast... What? <laughs> I mean, they knew that I had the Mind Break, I guess. Um... They conceded. Did I do this wrong? Um, they conceded, so I don't know if I was ever going to get the trigger. I, I don't know how this works online. Beats me. Well, we got an Ad Nauseam win. That felt nice. Uh, I don't think we even saw, I mean, the Zorn Orb is probably a card that just shouldn't be in the deck, in my opinion. Um, I understand that it enables Ad Nauseam because you can gain a bunch of life, but this isn't a deck that needs help in that department. If anything, no, I'll get to that later. It's fine. Um, let's like board in the Fluster, I think. Let's just do this. We actually probably don't want the Shadow Spirit. It's not going to let me undo this, will it? Nope. All right, game two. Yeah, this seems great. Keep. Blooded Strand. Ponder. Draw. Okay, stage past the turn. Brainstorm. In a concession, wow. Really? So we went 2-3, not the best. So, realistically, I think this deck doesn't have enough mana to be playing Ad Nauseam. If I was to play this deck on my own, I would reshape it a bit. So, Metalcraft is a big part of this deck because we play Urza's Saga and we have Mox Opal. Why are we playing Cunning Wish? Like, in my opinion, we should be a Wishclaw Talisman deck because we're a black deck. We want artifacts. We have a bunch of singletons that are really powerful. It makes sense to be playing Wishclaw. Cut this Cunning Wish garbage. So that way we get to play a real sideboard. And then we can probably go up on Mox Opal to accelerate harder. I'd probably go down on lands a little bit. I don't know what the fewest number of lands you can play while running Mox Diamond is, but... I'd like to be faster, so I'd like to see more opals. Um, I'd also not play the Zern Orb in the main deck. That's probably more of a cyborg card in my eyes, so I'm definitely interested in Wishclaw's main deck, more opals. But then you might be thinking, well, how do we win the game with Ad Nauseam? It's a fair question. I think you can either play main deck Lightning Storm, or, hear me out, you can play a Thassa's Oracle and just draw your deck with the Ad Nauseam. Uh, both are fine. I don't think there's a right or wrong here. 
but those are things that I'm interested in just because I felt like we weren't really utilizing this sideboard uh, plan we have here and Wishclaw just seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, and Opal can help us get to Ad Nauseam faster because I felt like it wasn't really reliable. And if you have Wishclaws in your deck, it's no longer an 8 mana line, it's a 6 mana line, which is a lot more reasonable. My two cents. Sean, thank you for the donation deck. I really do appreciate it and your continued support here at this channel. I hope everyone enjoyed Land Nauseam. I'm sorry we got paired into Triple Eight Cast. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Maybe I'll write the Moto Gods and they'll fix it for next time. But once again, thank you and uh, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.